Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have fun with math. We are going to do an art project, a more creative project that actually focuses on a really important math concept that I think we need to understand. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna talk about fractions a little bit. Fractions tell us something that has been divided into equal parts. So you can either have parts of a whole one whole or you can have parts of a set. So I'm going to tell you what that is right now. Here is a whole circle. What I've done is I've divided it into four equal parts. Four equal parts is the total number of parts. That's the number that goes on the bottom of our fraction. Then right here I have colored or shaded in one of those parts. So the one goes on this top number right here. So one out of four is shaded in. The one, the number on top is what you are describing. That is called the numerator. Say numerator. <laughs> okay, so the numerator is the part we're describing. We are describing the number that is shaded in. Now, the denominator, say denominator. All right, the denominator is out of the total part. So there are four total parts that I divided my um, whole circle into. So that goes right here on the denominator. Okay, so same thing for the fraction set. So I have one, two, three, four circles. That's the denominator, that's the total parts. And as you can see, I've colored in one of them. So I've shaded in one out of the four parts, or we say one fourth. One out of four or one fourth. So that's like a really, really quick rundown of what fractions are. But what we're gonna do with fractions is we're actually gonna practice it with something that you have in your house. So hopefully you all have a egg carton. This is just a regular egg carton. If I open it up, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 eggs in this carton. Now it is empty. We are gonna create this and show eggs in an egg carton as fractions. So let's get started. And there's actually a multiple different ways that you can divide it equally. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna divide it by all 12 of, of these eggs. So we're gonna get started with that right now. Okay, what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna do a kind of arts and crafts activity to represent fractions. So what you need is an egg carton. You're gonna need scissors. I recommend um, paint, because it'll make it fun and crafty. And then you'll need a paintbrush. All right, go grab your materials, let's go. To get this started, what you need to do is open up your carton and you're gonna cut off two parts. You're gonna cut off this flat part right here and you're also gonna cut off this flat part right here. Don't throw it away because we're gonna need it in just a second, okay? Let's go. Okay, so what I've done is I have the lid of my egg carton, I have my regular carton where my eggs go, and I have this little flappy part. Put the flappy part inside the um, lid and set that off to the side. We'll use that in just a second. Now, I wanna make this uh, activity more fun, so I'm gonna use paint. So I'm gonna take my carton before I do anything else is I'm going to paint the inside. I'm just gonna use this acrylic paint that I have. You don't have to, it's just a fun thing for you to do. So here we go. <music> I just painted my um, egg carton so now I'm gonna clean up my mess um, and let it dry so here we go okay so after you've let your painted egg carton dry what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut off um, these top parts right here they just kind of get in the way to stop um, the fraction process so I'm just gonna turn it to the side and I'm just going to
Okay, so you, um, once you have all the pieces cut off, you can take this floppy part and turn it, put it off to the side. So what we have right here is the top part. This represents our whole for our fraction, one whole A card. And if you remember, this is an A card that it has. You open up the flap, inside is the bottom with all the different A's. As you can see, it matches up perfectly, so this lid becomes our whole. Now, how many of our little fraction pieces make up the whole? We're gonna count. So if I put them just in my tray like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So as you can see, 12 of the little fraction pieces end up into our one whole. We're gonna see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna draw and model our egg carton fraction. So this is our one whole, this is the total carton of eggs. Now how it's split up is if there's a line down the middle, and then there are one, two, three, four, five, six holes. So So these are all the different little egg sections. That is these ones right here. So I count and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 total parts of my egg carton. So if I'm making a fraction, there are 12 total parts. This is the denominator, which is the total parts that we have out of our fraction, okay? Now, the number on top is the number that we're describing. So let's take one of these little egg carton pieces, one of these fraction parts. That would be the numerator, that is one. So each of these is one twelfth of a whole egg carton. What I can actually do is write one twelfth in, all right, one twelfth is also another important type of fraction because it is called a unit fraction. Um, so a unit fraction is important. It is one part of the whole. So it is one twelfth is a unit fraction and it is a unit fraction because there is a one in the numerator. or top part of the fraction, the, fraction, the fraction that you are describing. When there's a no, one in the numerator, that is the fraction part. Okay, so that's our new vocabulary term. We have the word numerator, we have the word denominator, and now we have the word unit fraction. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at all our unit fractions on our egg carton. So just like in our model up above, we're gonna do it here on our egg carton because we spent a lot of time doing that. So I'm going to dump out all of my pieces. Now each of these represents 1 12th. All of these are 1 12th. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to write 1 12th of all these fractions just so I can remember that these are all 12. So I'm going to write it on this side because there's no other spot to write it. So go ahead and start writing 1 12th on all the pieces on all the parts. Okay, so I have 1 12th written on all of them. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put them into my hole over here and we're going to do some comparing fractions. And when we compare fractions, what we're doing is looking to see which one's bigger than the other. We compare numbers, we can also compare fractions. So I have all my 12ths right here. I'm going to put two of my 12ths here and I am going to put Three of my twelfths here. So I have two twelfths because I have one twelfth and two twelfths. As you can see, I have two of them. Over here, I have three twelfths because I have three little egg cartons. So which one has more? Well, the three twelfths has more than two twelfths because there's one, two, three, 
versus one, two. So there's a couple of different things that we're doing right here. What we can do is we can add a twelfths together. So we can go one plus one is two twelfths. have two twelves and we're going to do our compare circle and then right here I have three twelves. As you can see the three twelves is bigger than the two twelves so my alligator is going to eat my alligator is going to eat the bigger number so three twelves is bigger than two twelves. We're going to talk about another one so put those off to the side let's do one two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so on this side, I have one, two, three of the twelfths. So I'm going to write three twelfths. I'm going to do my compare circle. Over here, I have one, two, three, four, four, so which one is bigger? Well, this one has more parts. So I'm going to say that 4 twelfths is bigger than 3 twelfths and have my um, alligator eat the bigger number. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to take 1 twelfth and we are going to compare it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I have one twelfth over here, and I'm going to compare it to one, two, three, four, five, six twelfths. Okay, as you can see, the six twelfths has more than the one twelfth, so it's eating the bigger number. Now, one thing that you can kind of notice on the top here is if we look at our numerators, two and three, three is a bigger number. Three and four, four is the bigger number. One and six, six is the bigger number. So if our denominator is all the same, meaning if we're working with our twelfths, then all we have to do is look at the numerator to compare fractions. So I'm gonna do one without, and I'm gonna say nine twelfths compared to three twelfths. So look at it, think about which one is bigger. Remember what we talked about the numerator and the denominator. Denominators are the same. Look at the numerators. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to add fractions. So I have my whole fractions right here, and I'm going to add my twelfths together. So I'm going to take this one twelfth, and I'm going to put it into my box. Now I'm going to add another fraction and add it into my box. When I add both of them together, I have one, two. I have two out of 12 pieces because there are 12 total pieces. When you're adding fractions, look at what I did with the numerators. One plus one is two. Look at what I did with the denominators. 12 plus 12, oh, the denominator is still the same because we're still working with our 12 pieces, right? Okay, now I'm going to have my two twelfths, and I am going to add one twelfth plus another twelfth plus I'll add one more twelfth. So I have 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 2 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th. So if you were to look right here, if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 5 total 12 pieces. Remember, the 12th is the denominator, 12th is the total. So my total is 12. My number of pieces is 5. If you look at the numerators, all you have to do is add them. 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Two, three, four, five, 
makes five twelfths. Don't do anything with the denominator because we're not adding the denominators, we're just working with this denominator. So now I'm gonna take my five twelfths and I'm actually going to add one two twelfths to the mix. If I count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, equals seven twelfths. Now I'm gonna take my seven twelfths and I am going to add one twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, plus five twelfths. When I added two seven twelfths plus five twelfths, I did something. What I did was I filled up my entire carton. So I have 12 pieces out of the 12 total. Seven, nine, 10, 11, 12. Seven plus five is 12. The denominator stays the same because we're working with fraction parts. Now, look at what I created. I created, I made, I filled up the entire egg carton. So we actually say that this is also equal to one whole. When there's a, the same numerator and denominator that makes one because all 12 of the pieces fit inside to my egg carton. All right, that is it. That is how you make fractions with egg cartons. We took one whole egg carton and split it into 12 pieces for 12 eggs. Tune in next time where we're actually going to take a different egg carton that I have and split it into something else. Now I'm going to set you with a problem that I want you to try and figure out. What I want you to do is look at this egg carton and the hole, take the hole. What I want you to do is cut it in half. So what I did was I took my egg carton and I cut it in half. Now, I want you to think of how many of these little things is going to fill up one half. I'm going to leave you with that and we'll get to that next time. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you liked it. Hope you could follow along. I'm going to get another egg carton for next time. See you soon. Bye.